A plane belonging to an Albuquerque Olympian crashed just after 9 this morning while trying to take off from the Sedona Airport in Arizona. Three people were believed to be on board. There are no survivors. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is in the newsplex with what we know. Kim, the plane that crashed is owned by Pat Porter of Albuquerque, a track and field Olympian from the 80s. A witness in Sedona said the small plane never took off. She said it went off the end of the runway, plunged into a ravine, and burst into flames. The Federal Aviation Administration confirms the airplane was a small twin engine Beach 60. Sedona police say, uh, tell us authorities have yet to remove any bodies from the charred wreckage and couldn't say how many people were on board, but airport authorities reported that three people were on the plane. The Sedona Fire Department will say only that it didn't transport any patients from the crash site. The plane, which refueled at the Sedona airport, is registered to Pat Porter of Albuquerque. He is a two-time Olympian. Porter ran the 10,000 meters for the U.S. at the 1984 Summer Games in Los Angeles and 1988 Games in Seoul, South Korea. He's married to another Olympian, Trish Porter, who was on the Olympic high jump team in 1988. The couple has two children. We have confirmed that Trish was not on the plane, but Pat was supposed to be. At this point, officials are not confirming the identities of any of the victims. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating what caused the plane to go down. The investigation is still in its very early stages.